Okay, thank you all for joining me today. This is, um, I uh, do this uh, cord cutting ceremony every year. Um, because, you know, it, we're going in the holiday season. Um, can everyone hear me okay? There's a little bit of crackling on the mic. Okay, let me... Uh, Hold on. Let me move that. I think I was jostling it. Is that better? Yeah, it is. Okay. I was jostling the string. <laughs> okay. So we're going into the holiday season and, you know, we want to see our families. We want to have a good time or, you know, we're not seeing our families, but we still have like the lifelong connections because when we, um, there we go. When we see our families, during the holiday or any time like okay let me revert it's like here we are we either don't know each other or we barely know each other so when we speak to each other we take each other at face value on what we're saying and we respond in the here and now but with families we have a lifelong relationship so there is no just here and now whatever you say or whatever you hear is connected to the lifelong relationship. Mm -hmm. And um, this is part of why, you know, I hear again and again from my students and clients, I am an adult person with adult responsibilities. And then I go home for Thanksgiving and I'm eight years old again. My siblings and I are having ridiculous fights. You know, it, it just, it's like, wait a minute, this is not the me I want to present. And this is not the, the holiday I want to have. So um, each year I, I do this little cord cutting ceremony and I have a bunch also on my YouTube channel, Benita Woods on YouTube, so you can grab them if you need. I saw the power of this, um, I don't know, like 15 years ago, we were having a family reunion and um, I wanted it to go well. And while I come from a family where they're like, oh, Benita does what Benita does. It's weird, but we love her anyway. So I knew there was no point bringing my family in on this. I went into meditative state and I did a cord cutting ceremony for first me and my siblings and then my entire family. And I invited their souls to come and join us. And they're, you know, like I just made it as big as I could because we were having a like five day family reunion. And I knew that, you know, <laughs> just imagine. We had the best time. Like everyone got along like gangbusters. And for months afterwards, we had like amicable social media, email and telephone relationships. And then it began to deteriorate. And I was like, hmm, why didn't I try it again? See what happens. I did it again. And immediately, everything was great for another few months, and then it deteriorated. And it's like, you know what? Everyone's on their own now. I can't be like the puppet master of my family's dynamics. Um, so since then, before the big holiday season, before Thanksgiving, Christmas, I found that cord cutting is a beautiful ceremony to do. Um, and I'll tell you. Like they call it cord cutting, but it's really more um, cleansing and purifying because you can never sever love. All you can do is release everything below the frequency of love and allow the, the best energy to like show itself and get amped up. I have done cord cutting between people who have loving relationships because they want to have even more love. I know uh, couples and friends who will do this regularly to increase the positive dynamics between them. So it's not just about severing. It's about <sighs> releasing what you do not wish to carry anymore, which when you get down to it, it's like the ultimate act of forgiveness. Because forgiveness is not, I forgive you for harming me even though I'm still carrying the pain in my heart. Forgiveness is when you become emotionally impartial to a situation and it has no effect on you. 
So really, to forgive someone is a very healing act. Um, and, you know, I do a lot of work with, like, angelic realm. And um, I work with the angels who, like, fly around with the swords. You know, and some people tease me about this, like, war between good and bad. I'm like, it's not a war. It's a healing. It's a coming back together in our best form. When an angel touches someone with a sword, they release everything below the frequency of love. So if you are like in a bad state and you're just like growling at everyone, you're just being God awful and you invite an angel to touch you with a sword, you release all of that. So this is, um, and it doesn't, you know, honestly, I don't care who believes this stuff and says this is 100% the reality that I exist in, or if you're like, you know what, it's a great concept that helps me to release through a parabolic, you know, vision. It doesn't matter. It's equally effective. So you don't need to like adjust your belief systems in any way for this. I've spent the last few years traveling the world studying with like indigenous healers and divine people. And um, it doesn't matter what they practice. Everyone has a variation on this, every culture, because it works to release so that you can be in the now. If you do a cord cutting between yourself and another person or yourself in a memory, and you realize afterwards there's nothing there, then that means you're ready to be done with this. If you do a cord cutting and, you know, all the badness falls away and all you have left is love, then how good is that? So cord cutting is good stuff. Um, I'm going to tell you a little cord cutting story, a couple of little anecdotes, just so everyone can get ready for this. And then we will do a cord cutting. And um, later I'll post um, the uh, video on YouTube so you can go back to it if you want. <laughs> um, when I did corporate work, um, I was brought in to create new programs and, you know, increase uh, profitability, you know, like efficiency person. So the first thing I did was work with all the people who were doing all the work who were miserable at inefficient systems and work with them to give them good systems. And then the next thing you know, the same people who were miserable are now super happy and we'd go forward. Um, but there would always be people like in the high up corporate office who would be angry with me because instead of just firing all the people and taking their advice on fixing things, I would fix what they had been unable to fix with the people that they'd been unable to help. So there would always be a small group of people who would like have, you know, their eyes set on my back and daggers in their hand. They'd want to take me down. Um, so I'd get called into corporate meetings and I always knew in advance, like who would be out to get me? You know, it's not like they're that subtle, especially if you can see energy you know, it, it's like reading body language to a more subtle level. It's pretty easy to spot the ones who are like miserable. Um, so I would do a cord cutting ceremony every time I'd go to a meeting with the corporate team and um, just fill everything with love. And every single time I did that, whoever was out to get me would end up becoming like someone trying to help me. And... I would get everything I'd ask for and like everything would go smooth and easy. So cord cutting, like it, it just, um, whether it is on the physical level of we have energetic cords that connect us. I mean, us being together on the internet now, we have cords of energy connecting us. And when we do the cord cutting, even though each of us is going to do to our family, we have a little mandala of energy in the here and now connecting us that will help support the work. And um, because we're all here, because we want more love in our lives or we want more love with those we love, it creates wonderful support for everyone that, um, you know, when you do the ceremony, you can tap in and feel, wow, I feel extra supported because we have an energy already here. Wherever you connect with people, 
Wherever you connect with places, with anything, there's an energetic imprint. So uh, we are going to um, help it. It's struggling along on its own, and now we're going to give it a little love. So whenever I see my siblings, and I'm the youngest, it doesn't matter how old I am, and I'm getting older and older every year, I am treated like I'm a child. Uh, my brother is married to a wonderful woman who's several years younger than me, and he keeps trying to get her to treat me like a child because he's used to treating me like a child. I'm like, <laughs> you know. So um, it's because we have this lifelong dynamic. He's my big brother. He helped raise me, and he feels like he's still raising me. So when um, I do the cord cutting ceremony, I also help cut through that because that's part of a paradigm that doesn't really need to be in our current. Now we can uh, symbiotically support each other as uh, sibling peers. Like there's no one in the world who knows you as well as your family, but we don't need to carry around the trigger responses and the grudges that have been around for 20, 30, 50 years. Um, you know, I, uh, my brother teased me last summer and I immediately burst into tears and started screaming at him. It's not funny. It's not funny. And he looked at me. I'm like, oh my God, he was making, I mean, he was teasing me, but he likes to tease people. But he said a phrase that took me back to when I was six years old. And so I'm like, you know what? That's on me. I need to go deal with this. I'll be back. Now, Grant, he was teasing me mercilessly. And I asked him to stop several times, which just encouraged him more. But again, that's sibling dynamic that came back up. Um, he and I hang out together all the time. That's the only time this year such a thing has happened. So the cord cutting helps release that trigger response. There are different ways of doing a cord cutting. <sighs> Depending on how your relationship is with whom or what you wish to cut. You may choose to take it to different places. Um, if you are, um, you know, and depending on what kind of energy you normally work with or what sort of support you wish to have with you. So when you do a cord cutting, it's good to um, release all brain management expectations and allow the dream state to take you to where you wish to go. Hi, Wanda. Allow yourself to go uh, along for the ride. It's sort of a lucid dreaming concept of um, if you're controlling it in your head, then you won't see everything that the experience has to offer you. You'll only see what your controlling head will give to you. And you might miss really important things. So um, generally, uh, there are several ways that I do it. Sometimes I'll take people even on a half long spirit journey where we're like going into a garden and then up a mountain and then in through a cave and then down a cliff and then above just to, you know, bringing in all the senses of everything we're seeing and smelling to get everyone like connected in. But that's not really necessary. All that's necessary is that you release your brain control of what's going on. Um, one way, if you want to do this when you're at home, one way to do it is to give your uh, logical mind an activity like washing dishes or cleaning house or something where your logical mind is engaged. And then you can allow your drifting mind to sort of take you along on an adventure. Um, in today's situation, we're just going to get very quiet. And I will invite you to go to whatever place arrives when you're in your quiet place. It may be a cave. It may be up in the clouds. It might be on a mountaintop. You may be back to the memory, uh, a memory associated with what you're doing. Um, since this is about a family cord cutting, 
Uh, some people feel find themselves in their childhood home or a place that there was a lot of family connection. I'm going to invite you, you know, once I get everyone into a nice, uh, some lucid dreaming state to just look around and be where it presents itself to you. And then we will invite one family member to begin with um, to come and connect with you. This is not going to be obviously the physical family member unless they're sitting here with you already. This will be the soul of your family member. Um, it doesn't matter if whomever you're doing this with is even aware of what you're doing. You'll take a moment and uh, look at the lines of energy between the two of you. The lines of energy can change from, you know, person to person and situation to situation. Uh, you may feel like uh, they look like poison ivy um, or weeds, or they may look like lines of light, or they may look like thorny roses, or um, they may, I mean, it can look like anything, you know, sailor's ropes. So look at the lines of energy and that will let you know what kind of energy is currently flowing between the two of you. And um, if you want, you can have a moment to chat with this person, look at the person, and then look in your hand, whichever hand is your dominant hand, and um, you will find a cutting implement there. For me, I generally have a big flaming sword. Um, but I know a very powerful shaman who he gets uh, sewing scissors appear in his hand because um, he loves doing, uh, you know, hand stitching. So some people may find their light, their hand itself becomes the blade or uh, lasers are shooting out. It can also change from ceremony to ceremony what will be in your hand. So don't plan on it. Uh, just allow whatever it is to appear. And then you're going to cut. You're going to cut all the lines between you and all around yourself, front, back, top, bottom. You're going to do all the cutting. You'll notice some of the cords will separate and go back. Some things will just crumble or go, you know, drift away. Um, any cords that go back to you, invite them to absorb and heal and to the other person absorb and heal, and you'll see all you have left between you are bonds of love, which may look very different from the way they looked before the cutting. Just like when you really need a haircut, how good you look when you leave the salon. It will be that sort of transformation. Then we'll invite another member of your family, and um, then we'll invite more to come in and more and more and more until the vista is filled with your family members and everyone is joining in on the cord cutting. Everyone's cutting. And then we will return to here and then we will go on our way. You can do this ceremony as often as you like. Um, if you find it effective, you can invite your family members to join you in person or you might do it again. Um, well, it's going to take us, you know, like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to do it. Once you get comfortable with it, you can do the whole thing in seconds. So <laughs> trust me, I didn't spend 15, 20 minutes before every corporate meeting. <laughs> okay. Um, and... And remember, cord cutting isn't just about people. You uh, sometimes I'll sit in a cord cutting state. I'll bring myself in and I will invite whatever I need to do a ceremony on to step forward. One time it was a uh, poor self-esteem. I'd been kind of down on myself. And so I said, whomever I need to do this with step forward. And there was like, what I got was a uh, self-doubt, self-doubt step forward. And I went, oh, good. Yes, let's do this now. So, um, you know, you this is a wonderful tool done in almost every culture I've studied with. 
Uh, what I'm doing for this will be an amalgamation of many cultures, bits and pieces. Um, and um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so um, I invite you to sit relaxed. It doesn't matter if your eyes are open or closed. If they're open, invite them to just sort of be uh, hazy, unfocused. Invite your feet to relax so all the energy in your body is welcome to flow down through the bottom of your feet. And as the energy of your body is flowing down from your core, down through your legs, down through the bottom of your feet into earth, you'll notice the top of your head immediately wishes to relax and open up in response. Invite the top of your head to relax and open. It may feel light and tingly. If you feel any pain or pressure or tension, acknowledge it and give it permission to resolve itself. This is very common when energy is coming into our body to have an automatic response. But this is safe energy. Invite the top of your head to relax. And you'll notice your crown chakra naturally opens wide. All the beautiful divine love flows in through the top of your head, swirls through your mind, down your body, down your legs, down your feet, into earth. And as all the energy is flowing down, your root chakra very naturally relaxes and spreads out wide, supporting all the beautiful divine energy to flow in and flow through, down deep into earth, filling your body with this beautiful, light, airy flow of love. If you have any blocks in your body, don't worry about them. The energy will flow. It will flow around it. It will flow through it. It'll pick it up and carry it away. The energy is flowing like a beautiful river flowing down the side of a mountain. In this wonderful, relaxed state, you can feel all the wonderful, divine, beautiful love that's flowing into you and filling you. Being filled with divine love is your birthright. It is your right to flow with this love whenever you wish, for however long you desire. Allow this energy to emanate from you like a love light bulb turned bright on. If you feel any queasiness, just invite your root chakra to expand a little more so that the energy can flow out. Invite your soul to take you to a place that is special for you, possibly sacred, possibly comfortable, Go to a place that is special for you. You don't need to predetermine. The place will reveal itself to you. And with your mind's eye, look about and see where you are. Feel the energy of this space. 
look at yourself and the lines of energy that come from you and connect to this space. And invite the sacred love to flow in through your crown chakra and fill you and emanate from you including through the lines of energy of this space, flowing out from you to this space. The only energy coming into your body is through your crown chakra, filling you with divine love, flowing through you, glowing, emanating out around you. Now I want you to call out. Call out to someone you love, someone from your family. Invite this person to come here to you. Call out. Be here now before me. And you will see the person you called is standing before you in this very safe, sacred space where you are absolutely filled with divine love, completely safe and protected. Look upon whomever you called forward. Look at the energy between the two of you. What does the energy look like? What direction is the energy flowing? Is it equally forward and backward? Or is most of the energy going in one direction? Look again at this person that you called. And look at the cords. You'll see the person you called is also looking at the energy, possibly having a revelation of their own. Now I want you to look into your hand. You will find a cutting implement there. Whatever implement appears in your hand is perfect for your need in this moment. Raise your hand up and with this cutting implement, Cut between you and the person that you've called forward. Cut, cut, cut. You will see only the energy below the frequency of love falls away. The energy of love is amplified, becomes brighter, more pure. Cut all around you. Cut above you. Cut below you. Cut in every which way. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. And then look again at the energy, at this person. Do you have anything to tell this person? Hmm. 
Now I want you to call out to someone else in your family or maybe even a few people, one to three, call them to you now. Look upon them, call out and say, come here now, my soul calls to your soul. Come here now and face me. And you see whomever you called is here now in front of you. Look at the cords between you. Look at the cords between them and each other. You know what to do. Look into your hand. Find a cutting implement there. Raise it up and cut, 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 cut. Cut between you and everyone here. Cut between them and each other. Cut, 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 so that the only lines of connection that remain are those of love. You may find there are some connections that are in the process of healing to love. but everything is more beautiful and loving than it was. And now call out to your entire family or whomever in your family you wish to be connected with. Call out Say, I need you here now. Come here before me. Come here. Be with me now. And you feel the energy as your family, those who love you, are arriving and arriving and arriving, showing up in the here and the now, standing before you. Look at all the energy. What complicated lines of energy, including tangles and snarls and crazy connections, all kinds of confused energy. And then you tell your family, I request that each and every one of you look into your hand and find your cutting implement so that together, as a family, we can cut all the bonds that are below the frequency of love, that we can magnify, purify, amplify all the love between us. Is everyone ready now? Look to your hands and you see, you look into your hand, you have your perfect cutting implement and you look around the vista and you see everyone in your family has their perfect cutting implement. Tell everyone, raise your arms high and cut 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 and watch as you are cutting everyone's cutting and all the energy is becoming love you watch as everything the quarrels the misremembered ridiculous elements everything the grudges are being cut away falling by the wayside and disappearing to be healed 
by those of the divine who love us. And look at the energy flowing between all of you. Beautiful energy of love. Take a moment and look at all of this beautiful love. Breathe in the beautiful love. Look to your cutting implement and store it wherever you would like to keep it until the next time you have need of its services. And if you'd like to take a moment to talk with anyone in your family, hug, Give yourself that beautiful moment. Invite all the energy of love to imprint on each and every one of you. Give yourself a moment to express yourself to your family. Give yourself a moment to express your wishes for the coming holidays, for your connection together, the next time you see each other going forward. Embrace anyone whom you wish to embrace. And then allow everyone to go back to their homes and their lives for now. Wishing each other all fond farewells for the moment. Allow yourself to drift comfortably back into your body. Returning to your physical state. And allow your fingers and toes to wiggle a little bit. Wiggle your body a little. Let your consciousness return to this space. Beautiful.
think about when you see your family, how you wish to interact, what you want to chat about, and then let those wishes just fly off to the air to be caught. Thank you all for joining me. This is a cord cutting ceremony. And I invite you to cord cut on your own whenever and as often as you like. Um, you know, like I said, I'll load this onto my YouTube channel. You know, if you have family members that you want to try something like this, invite them to watch this with you and see what their take on it is. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. I wish everyone a wonderful holiday season. And um, I look forward to seeing you all around. Thank you, Benita. Same to you. All right. Bye. <laughs>